Charge Shot. Welcome back to SpongeBob the movie, the video game for GameCube, everybody. Hey, everybody. How are you tonight? Hey, everybody. We're playing SpongeBob at, like, late o'clock at night. It's, like, ten-something right for you, right? Yeah. It's late enough to be doing anything other than playing SpongeBob. Yeah, late enough. Late enough. It's, it's never late too late enough. for SpongeBob. I liked watching those streams whenever they show up. What streams? Those 24-7 streams on YouTube. Oh yeah, those beautiful degenerates that are able to stream episodes of Spongebob and fucking Fairly Odd Parents on YouTube. Yeah, I love watching those sometimes. They, they probably got banned so many times, but oh man, what, what, what a blessing of a person to do such a thing. Most of them only stream earlier episodes though. Taking time out of their day to do great things like that. Yeah, they are beautiful people. They get people to watch. That's too. humble. I humble wouldn't bundle. say the subscribers are well earned though, because none of the content is theirs. That's true. Very unworthy of subscribing. Yeah, I don't subscribe to them, I just <laughs> watch them sometimes. No, no, I don't subscribe I either. I haven't seen many on YouTube lately. Uh, I, I don't really search for them, I just kind of click them as I see them. I, I see other random shit in my feed, so I don't really see that. Oh, we got another power-up. Let's give it to uh, Patrick's cartwheel. Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's funny, because you can make a better-looking picture than that. Yeah. That, that was poor. Yeah, they have, like, such a low budget for that, it looked like. Again, this is a movie tie-in, so they probably made it quickly. Yeah, that's true. They probably used the same engine as <laughs> Bikini Bottom. Oh, this is definitely the same engine. It looks good, though. I'll give it that. Yeah, this is the same SpongeBob model. The same SpongeBob, different game. It's just, uh, this one is more linear. Linear. Yeah. For a long time, I didn't know what that word meant. I thought it was the name of the character from, uh... The game Evolution on Dreamcast, because everyone's named after a weapon, and her name is Lanier. I don't know what a Lanier is. Lanier Cannon? I don't know. Man, it is a Lanier Cannon. That, that's a game I'd like to play again one day. What game? Um, Evolution? I, I forgot what it was called, but it's, it's an RPG for the Dreamcast, and it was ported to GameCube. I don't think I've ever heard of it. It's a, it's my, the first RPG I ever played. You should play uh, that one scary uh, GameCube game. Which one? Eternal Darkness, I think it was. No, no, that, that can't be it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, Eternal Darkness. Eternal Darkness. Yeah. And there's um, there's Geist. I had Geist at one point. I just never didn't like it. I wonder how that would fare, like if you played it. Nah, it sucked. So not good enough to let's play. Do you, now, you know what would be fun? I never um, completed or got any far in Metroid Prime in my life. In what? Metroid Far Prime? Prime? No. You know, I never did either. I didn't really like him. Okay, wait. Um, I'm doing this wrong. Very wrong. Wrong! Like Donald Trump. No, check this out. This is like those Mario Sunshine uh, bonus levels. Nearly. Well, yeah, you mentioned that while we were while you were playing that before. This one's less of an obstacle course though, because I'm a ball. But the setup is the same, isn't it? Yeah. That's Are we not... playing more Marvel Madness? Because this is what it looks like. Yeah, there's a lot of these levels. He looks demented as fuck. Yeah, I I don't like his face. But uh, I, I like wait. <laughs> Yeah, we mod the game, so it's just a marble. I can't get him to stop moving, so he just doesn't. How are the <laughs> physics of this, though? <laughs> um, they're actually not too bad. They're very good. As good as Marble Blast. Dude, I don't, I don't think I ever played that. Yeah, Marble Skies. I played Marble Madness on Nintendo. We need Marble Skies. I played Crystal Castles. The fuck is Crystal Castles? 
Crystal Castles is one of my favorite arcade games ever. You play as a little bear with a wizard hat and you go through castles collecting gems. It actually sounds pretty fun to me. Though I might be oh, biased. Oh, I died. <laughs> I love that, the hand. Yeah, picks you back up. It's like, oh, Hans. Oh, Hans. Yeah, that's what it was called, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. At least these aren't too long, so dying isn't that bad of a setback. The game, that uh, losing a life was pretty fucking cool, though. Yeah. I'll admit. No, but uh, these, these aren't too long, so I'm not having a... I'm not, uh, I had to do all that again. Very short levels. Yeah. Doesn't seem too bad to me. Oh boy, I went too fast, I went too fast. Nah, you went at the right speed. Okay, I'm not even bothering with those. Who's faster, Sonic or Spongebob? Uh, give Spongebob enough time, he, he could probably catch up to Sonic. Look at his feet clipping through the floor. Damn, they thought of everything. This level was made for Spongebob in ball form, not in sponge form, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think they were, like, basing the reference on this. Yeah. Model. They didn't do it right. I heard a Facebook noise. Yeah. Can't help that. I heard the noise. It's not me. We can just say that much. So we got the Goofy Goober tokens. So now you can beat the game in this episode. Oh, yeah. Beat the game. You it's... like that video? Like that video game. I hate the enemies in this game. They're so ugly. They are. They're you, so you generic. See, um, in Battle for Bikini Bottom, there were cute little robots, and each one had their own special design. They were very unique. Yeah, but you know they wouldn't give it to this. And you unlock a whole character museum, and you can actually get descriptions for every enemy in the game. That's something every game needs, in my opinion. Like, trust me, when I, um, when I said uh, breaking the rules is good, I was thinking of Shadow Showdown. But, uh, when I say Battle for Bikini Bottom is good, I could say it aged very well. I played it recently. Very good Ooh, game. You did. I need to play it eventually. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy is now bouncy. open task to play. Is now open to play. Oh boy, it's a task? You see, I'm gonna do every single one of these that I can, because you really need these tokens later on. Backtracking is not worth it. If you could do it right oh. away. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. At least this this platforming seems decent over here. Yeah, the, again, this game is very. It, it's not bad at all. It's a, it's not an amazing game, but it's it's fun. It is fun. Absolutely. It's rare you have fun in a game like this. Yeah. Are I, we always just gonna play licensed titles? I I dude, I grew up on shitty licensed games. <laughs> That's our whole channel right now. Fairly yeah. Odd Parents, this. When you were away, I was even explaining that I played like every bad license game and every good license game. The only one I really missed out on was Madagascar. I wonder how that was. I hear it was good. Play it. I always avoided it because I never watched Madagascar. I only saw the sequel, I think. That, same here. That's exactly what I was talking about when you were away. Yeah, you only saw the sequel because it played on TV or something, right? No, I, I was actually taken to a theater. Really? Just to see a sequel that you knew to the first of? Yes. I, I think I have the DVD somewhere of the sequel. I, I went with this kid I used to be friends with. Is it the one that you had a channel on YouTube with? Yes. Okay, Um, this is another one of those... Another one of Our... those things. No, this is a bonus stage. Do you get to roll again? Look, see, it's like Mario Ooh. Sunshine. I like this one. You yeah. gotta be Patrick. I, I love how Patrick plays in this game. He's just a little quicker than Battle for Bikini Bottom. I like the, uh... Ooh, that was quick. Ooh. The timer seems decent. Uh, you saved fell. yourself. You almost Man. played yourself. Uh, got an extra. All about them extras. All about that base, about that base, no travel. Dude, I heard that in Toys R Us once. I don't know how I how that happened. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> the momentum killed me. 
the momentum is what kills you in your yeah. when you crash when you drive. Wait, the time doesn't reset? I'm nope. Oh my god. The fuck? What do they expect of me? You gotta hurry up, dude. Ugh. Patrick. You clunky fuck. Roderick, no! I was just talking about how good you control Patrick. Don't fail me now. Oh, Patrick man. is like, I know! I know Spongebob! Like I know Spongebob! Fuck! Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> you only got 248 left. Oh, man. I... I can't fuck this up. You gotta do it this time. Gotta do it. Gotta do it for SpongeBob. Gotta do it fast. Brian, if I complete this, Steven Hillenburg will be healed of his ALS. Who will be he healed of what? He'll be healed of his ALS. What's ALS? The creator of SpongeBob has ALS. Whatever the disease that was going around that they did the ice bucket challenge for. I never knew that. Remember, we did the, the ice bucket challenge for ALS. I remember that. I remember the ice bucket challenge. Yeah, the ice bucket challenge was for ALS. I don't remember why or what the concept of it was, but that's that that was that's the big and tall of it. That's the skinny. That's the skinny of the situation. Yeah, it's the skinny. That's the sitch. It's funny because none of us are skinny. <laughs> that's skinny. That's the that's the meat of it, Brian. We're both two fat fucks. Yep, that's. That's, that's kind of the essence of this channel. It is. Being fat on the internet ain't a crime, though. It ain't a crime. Being fat in general ain't a crime. Uh-oh, giant ice cubes. They disappear for some reason. Just like oh the god, sand. Oh god, oh god. Tripping out. What the fuck? That background. Yeah, they do this to you to psych you out at the end. Oh well, my, they're fucking evil. I, I love this game. It's really, it's funny. But that's so evil. <laughs> All right, past it. Flying colors. That was the most evil shit I've seen in a video game. <laughs> they really did pull that. They really Fucking did. scumbags. Th this is why <laughs> THQ made good licensed games. Does uh, Battle for K Bikini Bottom have anything like that? Um, actually, there is a whole world similar to that called SpongeBob's Dream. Oh no. It's like a before the final world. That's sure to be fun. Oh boy, ambush. Like they're waiting for you, man. Ambushed by stupid fucking robots. Ambush. Why are all these robots redneck with big teeth and making weird like hillbilly noises? I don't know. They it's look like cool. they would though. It's not cool, man. Not cool. Not cool, brah. Hey, brah. You not almost cool. leveled up. It's not cool, brah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I know what you're talking about, man. Yeah. Not okay. cool, baby. Bubby. Yeah, man. I know exactly what you're talking about. With all the fucking flashing lights and all the fucking things, man. It's really fucking crazy. Dude, you sound high out of your mind. Look at this crazy fucking sponge, dude. He's underwater. He's got punching gloves. Where'd he even get that thing, man? Hammer space. He's just fucking underwater, man. He's just trying to do his own thing. Uh, yuck. Hey. And now they're dead. Rest in peace, hillbillies. I can't believe they're fucking dead, man. I can't believe they died like that, dude. I'm pretty sure the game glitched out at the end of that cutscene and made a loud <laughs> sound. I had to cut it out. Don't cut it out. That's beautiful. Rub a dub dub, slip slide in the tub. Next time on Charge Shot. We'll see you next time.